Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is Shoni and today we are going to learn about the nervous system and the respiratory system. The nervous system is a human body's main control network which controls the muscles, glands, organs and etc. The brain and the spinal cord are the body's control system. The nervous system carries information around our body in the form of electric signals, which are carried in cables that are called nerves. The longest nerve in our body is the sciatic nerve, which travels from the spinal cord to the foot. There are two main parts in the nervous system, the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. The central nervous system is made up of the brain and the spinal cord. All the incoming signals are processed and decided by the brain in how the body should react. The peripheral nervous system carries electric signals around our body. It also links the central nervous system to the muscles, glands and the rest of the body. The nerve cells that make up the nervous system are called nerve cells or neurons. The nerve cells transmit electric signals along fibers called axons. Axons can stretch up to one centimeter in length. Axons are bundled together to form nerves. It's kind of like a bunch of wires in a cable. Each axon carries a separate electric signal. Messages are sent from all the senses to the brain. At the same time, our brain coordinates the tension of hundreds of muscles in our body to make movements. So, how does this all happen? Well, the nervous system has three main parts. The first part gathers all the information that is being sent from all over the body. The second part processes information. The third part makes the body react. All these three parts work together in a split second. Okay, now moving on to the respiratory system. The process of our body obtaining oxygen in the air, which is then used by cells, is called respiration. The main organs that are part of the respiratory system are the lungs and the airways that lead to the lungs. The lungs suck in the oxygen. Also, it releases carbon dioxide, which is a waste material of this process. Food molecules contain trapped chemical energy. The cells use oxygen to release the trapped energy. This process is known as cellular respiration. For example, the sugar molecule reacts with the oxygen. This reaction breaks down the sugar molecule and thus releases the trapped energy. Carbon dioxide and water are produced as byproducts of this process. The carbon dioxide is carried away by the bloodstream to be breathed out of the lungs as a large amount of this is poisonous to our bodies. This whole process is happening in microscopic power plants that are called mitochondria. Mitochondria are found in every cell but in different amounts. If some cells have one or two mitochondria. Each mitochondria is enclosed by two membranes, one flat outer membrane and a folded inner membrane. The chemical reactions happen in the inner membrane. I hope you understood about the nervous system and the respiratory system. If you have any doubt or opinion, please write it in the comment section. If you find this video useful, then please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. For more interesting videos, please stay tuned to my channel. Bye-bye.